Guys, in today's vlog, Nelly and I want to talk about a very, very important topic that might even be able to save some lives. So please stay tuned. Wrapped up in a color. Wrapped up in the color. Do I know I'm like a father? Going cold, now you're running. What is up, guys? Welcome to another vlog, a day in the life here in Manila. And today, Nelly and I would like to talk about a topic that is rather important right now. So sit back, relax, maybe grab a cup of coffee and join us for this vlog. Now, before we get into today's vlog, I am well aware that this is a mustache. It is no surprise that this is a mustache. It's not a secret that this is a mustache. This is a mustache. But I have to stick it through because what I want to go for with my whole facial hair thing right now is, I don't know if you've seen the movie Mission Impossible Fallout. Anyway, uh, what's, what's the actor's name? No, not Tom Cruise, the bad guy. He also plays Superman. Anyway, I really, really like the look he's got going on in that movie with like a little bit of a beard, but also a little bit of a stash. I want to see if I can pull it off, but it takes some work. It takes some maintenance and you have to grow the stash to be able to carry it. Ooh, that Lamazoko is looking beautiful, but not as beautiful as Nelly. Good morning, how are you? Good, how are you? Very well. You're making us a salad? Yes, so we have some healthy salad. Um, we have some chicken. That. Inspired by uh, Souv. Souv. Yeah. By the way, guys, Magnolia chicken, not sponsored, but it's our favorite chicken yeah. right now. Um, Please don't ruin it in the comments. <laughs> <laughs> we went for our morning run this morning, and this is actually when we, now is the point where we're breaking fast, meaning we're going to eat for the very first time and we kind of get our vlog started and get into motion. So. The thing that we want to talk about today is something that we learned from you guys and I'm afraid we had to learn it the hard way. And we got a lot, a lot of criticism for doing it the wrong way, but it was constructive criticism, which is very helpful for us. So we wanted to take this uh, opportunity to share what we learned and why. And So without further ado, let me mention what I'm talking about today. I'm sure a few of you can guess it already, but it is the proper way to handle one of these. And there's so much to talk about when it comes to these masks. Literally so much to talk about. And guys, if you remember a few days ago, I mentioned that if I hit 100K on my Instagram account by the end of August, I'm going to be learning and performing a very specific uh, Filipino song in Tagalog if we are able to achieve this, 100K by the end of August. And a lot of you guys have come, come over to the Instagram account already. I've been reading all your comments. Thank you for all the amazing comments concerning the outfit that I wore in yesterday's vlog and that I posted yesterday on Instagram. A lot of you said it's nice to see me in different clothes than the classic uh, Deos t-shirt and uh, camo pants. So I thought I'll put a little bit of effort into my wardrobe over the next few weeks. And as you can see, I'm wearing a new t-shirt today. Yes, I am wearing the camo pants too, but they're just so damn comfortable, so I wanna wear them. But t-shirt as well. We're gonna grab food, and then we're all gonna talk about those masks together. Oh, healthy food like this really, really excites me. And oh, by the way, the reason why I have money here laid out on the table is because when I go for a run in the morning, I always take a little bit of cash in my pocket. So if I feel like grabbing a coffee on our way back, or if I just need to, like, I don't know, my face mask tears and I need to buy a new mask, or whatever reason, I just like to have a little bit of cash in my pocket. <laughs> Yesterday, I forgot to take the cash out of my pocket and I threw my clothes into the washing machine, and so I, uh, I, I cleaned money. Mike like is laundering money. I, don't, don't <laughs> say that! You can't say that on the vlog! Okay, real talk. So, uh, the reason why we are doing this video is because we have seen a lot of videos on the internet about people not wanting to wear a mask for whatever reason. Um, so, I have to say, we, we were not used to wearing masks either. Um, because in Austria, people just don't wear masks. There is no necessity. But I will add. Yes. I will add that uh, during Corona in Austria, people did. People wear did wear masks. masks yeah. uh, even though it wasn't. It was not mandatory. Required by law. Yeah. Uh, Austrians did opt to get masks and protect themselves. Yes. The majority. It yes. wasn't a huge issue. No, people were not pro protesting or anything. So. 
The first time when we realized that we need a face mask was when Tal Volcano erupted and it was quite scary having to put on a face mask going outside because there were particles in the air that could cause really uh, severe lung damages and uh, we just didn't want to risk that so um, that was the first time where we kind of got used to wearing face masks and then of course this pandemic happened and by the by that time we already had our face mask sorted and now it's part of our daily life just that, that's just the way it is now i'm not going to sit here and say that our habits with the masks have been perfect by no means it's been a big big learning process when we first heard that corona is emerging which was in february i think we started wearing uh, our masks that we bought for tal volcano while we were traveling so when we were on an airplane when we were in public places where there were a lot of people, we started wearing our masks. When we were stranded in Shargao, um, there was a little bit of a bubble. For a very long time, there weren't any cases in the region, there weren't any cases in the province, and um, the, general, the general mood in Shargao was, you know, put on your mask when you enter a, a store. And that was also the signage outside, please wear your mask before you enter, but like in general, going out on the streets and so on, Barely any people were wearing masks, sadly including us, and we had to change that. And um, from the day that we actually got into our car to leave the island and head back to Manila, it was just for us 100% clear that we can't leave our apartment or our car or whatever without a mask. Let's talk about masks and what we learned from many of you guys. Welcome to Nelly and Mike's Mask Review Show! <laughs> now, I would like to preface this with we are not health care professionals, doctors, or nurses. We have to say that for, you know. No, I have to say that because I don't know if everything I'm saying is 100% right. And I yeah. don't want, I want uh, just to share what information that I have, what I know, what I've learned from reading the comments from messages of healthcare workers that have sent us messages and given us advice. And this is a topic that is very important to me because I, some of you might know it but a lot of you might not know it, but uh, in February of last year, I was in an intensive care unit for acute lung infection, for acute pneumonia. Yeah. So um, I think that you can reasonably assume that I'm in kind of a health uh, risk group. So this is important. This stuff is really important. Um, we have several masks here. And if I may just choose my favorite mask from all of these masks, I have to say, it is this one yeah for many reasons the first reason for me is it is light it is easier to breathe with this mask and it is less uncomfortable around the ears this mask seems to be like mm. the all-rounder to me now and the second mask i want to talk about and this is actually the first face mask that we actually had is this n95 mask which was the perfect mask for tal volcano situation but recently I learned that this mask can be a killer. Uh, what? The reason why is this valve. Uh, this valve makes it easier for the air to dissipate when you exhale, but at the same time, this valve has no protection for other people. Meaning you are protected when you breathe in, but when you exhale, supposedly, all the viruses can just go through this valve here. I had no idea. Yeah, and that's, that's something that, that uh, somebody sent me a documentary. I can actually demonstrate it. Um, if, you, if you push against this valve on the one side, all it does is it opens up and it lets the air that you exhale out unfiltered. Mm, okay. So this is protecting you, but it is, it is in no way helping to uh, flatten the curve or to reduce the, the, the risk of infecting other people. That being said... Any type of mask, any type of protection is better than no protection. Mm. So if you have the option of thus or nothing, 100%, not just because it's the law, but also because of just being sensible, 100%, this is better. Yep. Next mask is this one, which I think is actually a quite, quite good mask. Um, I, I like to use this while driving in the car, uh, which is another thing that we need to talk about. Or I've mentioned it on the vlog before. If you are sitting in the car by yourself, 
there is no requirement for you to wear a mask. Again, that being said, I usually tend to just put on my mask anyway while driving because A, I'm wearing my mask when I'm approaching my car. B, I don't want to forget my mask once I get out of the car. And C, especially here in Manila when you're entering parking garages, when you... Um, there's just many situations just where you roll down your window and talk to somebody. Yeah. So it would be a constant putting on and taking off my mask, which is irritable. As soon as you're two people in the car, everybody has to wear a mask because even though you're living in the same household, the police does not know yeah. if that is the case or not. So the law says two people, mask is needed. This mask is cool because it has a ventilator that pushes in air through a um, N95 filter. And when you exhale, it has these filter inserts that filter the air when you exhale. So it is quite a good system. I mean, it filters air coming in, it filters air coming out. It's battery powered, so it pumps air in, which is easier to breathe. Uh, disadvantages is you need to charge this battery, which kind of sucks because my battery ran dead uh, yesterday mm. and then it was just hot. But it's it's USB. It's USB chargeable, yeah. yeah. And the second thing is this mask for me is too small. If you can see, it's, I feel like, I mean, it is sealing off, which is good. Just it kind of scratches my chin down here, which is a little bit uncomfortable. And I originally bought this for running because I would get hot in my face during running. But now this thing, it just, it's too heavy and it bounces around. Yeah. So I do like it while I'm driving my car because um, my head is not bobbing around. And is this one washable? Is this removable? No. This is not removable, but the filter inserts inside are okay. replaceable. So, okay. you know, you can keep it clean by just replacing this. Actually, I think it is removable. If you take this off, you can take okay. this off and the whole thing can be washed. Okay. Face masks also became the fashion item of 2020, officially. So, <laughs> um, I didn't want to have just, you know, this blue thing in my face. I also kind of wanted to have a nice mask that matches my outfit so i got this red one in chagall but this is too tight it's just it's it's a uh, not comfortable um but i have different designs like these and the latest one that i got is this one which is i think my favorite one but you mustn't forget that you nevertheless need an additional protection inside yeah. you can either they either have like these pockets or you lay it on the inside. Exactly. And with Big. these masks, the good thing is you can use N95 filters like this one. Yeah, this yes. is a N95 filter. Or you can just use surgical masks if you yeah. can't find the N95. So good part about this one is it's washable so you can reuse it and... Uh, Big disadvantage is that sometimes they are uncomfortable, like this one, uh, and sometimes they are big. I got a lot of comments because of this face mask, um, because it was mainly slipping down. Slipping down. Yeah. And as you can see, it's a little bit loose in my face. Um, this one is also very big for my face, so I, I didn't have, I didn't want to, you know, put it on and try it on uh, while I was on the, uh, um, at the market. But yeah, as you can see, it's is also very loose um, and I got this one with the uh, breast cancer sign and this one is super comfortable it lays perfectly on your face it's tight and I look like a ninja <laughs> <laughs> so uh, talking about comfort um, when we use this one for our first like it was a five hour flight um, and this was like the beginning oh, stages was... of, of Corona. So we were like really paranoid and we wore our masks uh, whenever we went to the airport. So we flew and I got out of the plane and I went to the toilet and my freaking ear was blue <laughs> because yeah. the mask was so tight. It's loosened up over the months, but at the beginning it was so tight that it cut off blood flow to my ear. Yeah. I mean, luckily my ear wasn't that. My <laughs> ear just went blue and we've, there's a solution for that. I can't find it right now. But there is a solution. It's a little leather band. I showed it in a previous vlog with two buttons on it, which just kind of, where you can hook the mask into that and the tension points are then on the leather strap behind you and not on your ears, which makes everything a lot, a lot, a lot more comfortable. 
So now, should we talk about uh, the correct handling, what we know is the correct handling and the mistakes that we made before? Okay, yeah. One of the things that we did wrong right in the beginning uh, with these yeah. masks, and uh, we first got our comments when it was about this mask, is when we first, I'll just demonstrate it on this mask because that's a new one. We had our masks on and I was vlogging and I think it was, I came into the apartment and I took off my mask like this. And people were like, don't, don't touch, touch the front of the mask. <laughs> That's where all the bacteria is. So the correct way to put on and take off the mask, according to you guys, is to only use the straps. And when you're done, very delicately take it away from your face. If you are watching Grace Anatomy, uh, Anatomy, or Anatomy. Anatomy or Dr. House yeah. or other... I have to uh, disinfect my hand. <laughs> or other medical series, uh, you, might, you might have seen it from the movies, so... Another mistake that I made, uh, because when I was using this mask and people told me, oh, you can't touch it because it's called auto something inocu uh, inoculate, something like that. It's called, essentially when you're touching the mask, uh, you have the virus on your hand, you touch your eyes or you touch somewhere else and then you infect yourself or with a surgical mask, seemingly, if you touch, if you press or touch the mask on the front, you can actually push the virus through the mask. Something along that line. Okay. So I thought to myself, haha, Mike's smart. What I'm going to do after wearing my mask in public, I'll just take my alcohol and spray it off. Oh yeah, I remember the comment. We're all safe again now. Well, no. <laughs> Seemingly using disinfectants on a mask uh, can, a no can reduce its, uh, protection. its protection. So you can't do that. These masks are washable. So we can wash these with water and dry them and they're good to go again. And yeah, there's one mask missing here, which is the standard valveless N95 mask, which gives you the most protection and others the most protection from you. We haven't been able to find that mask yet. As soon as we do see it, we will buy it. They have single use and multiple use masks, and they seem to be the best solution. For the surgical masks, I'll be very honest, I use it more often than once. Uh, usually I'll use a mask during the day and then I'll use it the next day in the morning to go running because after running, I cannot use this mask yeah. anymore. It is soaking wet from my sweat. So, but again, I use this for running because I don't feel like it's hindering me from breathing whatsoever. Yeah, I've, we had no, no, no issues at all. For me, this is the most comfortable but at the same time, this is also probably the most expensive because yeah. it's single use. This mask we bought one time and we reuse it all the time. It's, I can wash it. This mask came with a ton of filters that I can replace. Mm. So, yeah. Still, my favorite mask is this. Also, big mistake that uh, I did. We went out for dinner and I put on some red lipstick. But uh. I forgot that I had to put on the face mask. So that was an issue. Um, so in this case, you can just put some tissue paper in between. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that's like little problems. Yeah. <laughs> Today or tomorrow, we're going to be receiving a an ultraviolet disinfecting device, like yeah. a handheld thing, which will help us to disinfect our masks. Obviously, we're going to wipe down and an alcohol wipe our table after this, and also our hands. So it, it's really important to like handle these things correctly. And let, please, we'll link the Department of Health in the description down below so you can see like the correct way of, of how to handle these masks. I think the CDC in America has uh, also a, a, a like content on how to properly use these masks. I'm very happy to see that in my family, my parents are using the masks when they go outside. Our friends. Our friends are using masks. I am, I'm proud to see that a lot of people that we are affiliated with and we are friends with don't see a problem in carrying masks, even if it's not a um, a, a law in yeah. whatever country they are. We met somebody at the market who had his face mask, face mask literally down like this and he recognized us and he started talking to us and I felt very uncomfortable yeah. because he was not covering his mouth and not like we were not protected but we couldn't like you know just say do it. Yeah. <laughs> um, so we kind of stepped back and tried to have a, a big distance yeah. to him, but it's it makes me feel very uncomfortable in this case. But so what I will, yeah, sorry. 
if you care about people, if you care about your country, if you care about, you know, just being healthy and keeping others healthy, then I think this is a small sacrifice we all have. Thus, we all can make. <laughs> this is the single most patriotic thing you can do for your country right now. Right now. <laughs> uh, I want to say thank you to all of the viewers that we've met on the street since this whole thing has been going on, since we've returned back. So careful and so, so respectful. respectful. Yeah. I absolutely love it. Thank you. Yeah, um, everybody was so aware of social and physical distancing. Yeah. Even when we took pictures, Everybody initially said social distancing picture, you know, exactly. we, we didn't have to explain. So Nelly and I had this discussion on our way home from Shagao. We said, listen, when we get back to Manila, if it is as before, people will recognize us and want to take selfies with us. And we need to find a way to make it safe for our viewers and for ourselves. But you guys just, you took the, you took the, uh, the work from us. You're always like, oh, stand behind us and yeah. angle the camera right. You guys are pros, ah, that's awesome. Yeah. Okay, so, yeah. so that was it. If you have any other advice that you would like to share, please put it in the comment section down below. Yeah. Uh, if you have a mask that you can recommend, if you know a store that sells good masks at a reasonable price, this is a community, let's share the information with each other. If you are a healthcare professional and there's anything incorrect that we said, please correct us yes. down below. Actually, I will put a pinned comment and if you have any advice or if you want to correct anything we said, the pinned comment is the place to put it so everybody yeah. can see it um, when, they, when they open up this video. So I hope we've done like a little uh, PSA, public service announcement. <laughs> I, I just, I, I went through such a learning pro, pro uh, I went through such a learning curve, curve uh, with these masks from yeah. like doing it completely wrong in the beginning to now understanding a little bit how to get the most protection out of these masks. And I, I just wanted yeah. to share it with all of you. I know we have a lot of viewers from around the world and, um, yeah, I'll say today was the first time in months that I saw somebody outside without a mask. And when I was watching him, I kind of figured out this moment where he was kind of like, oh, <laughs> and he got out his mask. Yeah. So that was really the first time that I saw it. Yeah, so. we barely see people in Manila without face masks yeah. so far. Or like, I mean, we're not moving up around a lot we are basically just in makati and bgc but yeah. still okay guys this good is, job so far <laughs> this is a video that i really wanted to do and really wanted to share with you guys it's important to me and it's been in my head for quite a while and i'm happy that we've got it out now we've done it um we shared the information if you uh, like the information that we gave here please feel free to share this with friends and families co-workers anybody you think that yeah. can benefit from it and um yeah we'll be back tomorrow with a we take out take Thursday. Out Thursday. <laughs> uh, we're gonna get some really good takeout food. Can't wait to share it with you. All right. Mm -hmm. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Same time, same place. Remember to stay awesome. Be positive. And make it happen. Wear the mask. <laughs> <laughs> Love you guys. Bye bye.